Hello Paranormies and welcome back to the light side of the paranormal. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, hi, how is it going? I'm glad that you clicked and hopefully I can deliver. That bell is my cat. Sorry, I'm like really zoomed in here right now. This is a very last minute thing. I had a couple of spare minutes and I'm scrolling through our comments as I usually do and I see, shout out to Marcos Portes who commented, you need to react to his top five videos you'll need new pants for. It's one of his best videos in my opinion. Keep up the good work guys. So thank you so much Marcos for commenting that. I have a couple of spare minutes. I know I'm alone, that kind of sucks a little bit, but I'm here to deliver to the relevant comments. So I'm gonna react to that for you today. If you hear any sounds in the background, those are just my kids, not my ghosts. So let's do this thing. Ghosts are caught on camera. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Wrong way. Urban Explorers Man and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explore the abandoned Mossley Manor in Liverpool, England. <laughs> the manor awesome. has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 <laughs> years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth, who passed away in the home in 1889. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mosley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions oh, at the Mosley Manor home. Why? Always. Even why? more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. Oh care my home God. was shut down in 2015. For obvious reasons, many That's claim way that the Mosley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But Matt and Andy from Finders Beepers are certainly not ghost hunters it's not funny, or but it's even funny, necessarily right? believers in the paranormal. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mosley Manor. So cool. And cracking a few jokes along the way. Sounds like right, a... <laughs> so you've just come in to a sort of where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. You didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> How can... Psychopath coming in. Yeah, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look <laughs> in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too fat. <laughs> oh, hell! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh my this is God, so entertaining. I have to subscribe this to these guys. Entranceway. Not that we can see it because our these bombs. <laughs> Even though the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, when they I are on that. their way up the manor stairs, Matt sees something truly chilling. And suddenly, things just aren't so funny anymore. Right, just getting up. Is this the second or third floor we're going up to? Because we went down to the basement to throw me. Totally throw me. That paper's they're thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, wallpaper. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Oh. Hello. Somebody definitely walked across there. Somebody or something. Somebody up there. Hello? So flawless and without sound. No step sounds. I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Ooh. Right, I'm going up. Good for him. What the f Oh. Right, I, I've gone cold. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Mm -hmm. Hello? Are you just far? <laughs> <laughs> but they went that way, and there's no way you can go. A voice? Oh, so he heard, he heard a voice as well. I didn't hear anything. I should have my headphones on, actually. That 
That's weird. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. As Matt films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or mm -hmm. something who seems to be watching oh, them. Yeah. The figure immediately walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head up the stairs to investigate, but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on camera. Even stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Keep in mind that the say. mysterious figure disappeared towards the mm -hmm. right side. Right. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded up window. I was going to point that out, but I wasn't the sure. The mysterious person seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. So cool. But they went that way. And there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming his Victorian home? Could it be the apparition of one of the elderly patients that passed away inside the manor? Let me know what you think. It's something. You can check out Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel, Finders Beepers History Seekers. I love that. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Chips and Chicken shared a strange <laughs> video. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in California. One night, something triggers the building's alarm. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. That's pretty good. How can you do that? This looks like she's floating, Bob. What is that? Um, what? Oh, God, that gives me the creeps. Yep. That's the coolest thing ever. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. TikTok user Chips and Chicken is baffled by the footage. <laughs> She says that all of the men who work in this building are elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this. So is it real or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can see through it there. I'm going to pause for a second. Tic -tac, if you were a follower of our channel, you might already know this about me, but I have such a love for paranormal evidence that looks like the classic ghost you would picture like white sheet but unexplainable i love that that is the aesthetic of the ghost that i love to see so that's awesome these are your mom's undies <laughs> Let, let's just take a second for the giggles to pass <laughs> that's All cute right. uh anyway she claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or tv but when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Oh. The family claims that they have been tormented by frequent paranormal activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment. I don't know about this. But they say they've never captured anything like this before. It has like tree branches. What terrifies fingers. the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands, mm -hmm. can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification of captured movement caught by their security camera, they say they immediately fled the apartment to stay at their parents' home. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. If you see a video the- I feel like that would be easy to fake. So, I don't know. I really hope that's not real. That is, uh, yucky. That's my technical term. That is yucky. To wake the dead. Popular Jordanian livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is back with another terrifying investigation as he travels to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. The house is said to be haunted by a dark spirit or djinn. As Hassan explores, he records everything live for his Snapchat followers. Soon, he begins to hear a very chilling sound. <laughs> Oh, 
はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいハサン sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house. As it darts back inside, ハサン runs to the building, but the figure has disappeared. But whatever is roaming the property seems to be getting even closer. It's always like the same kind of、um, shape that's interesting. Again, Hassan runs as fast as he can only to find nothing. He's beginning to get a little spooked, but he continues on. And then things get downright chilling. I don't know what I'm saying. Scream becomes ear piercingly loud, and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the、like、sound. But he painfully stubs his toe against the piece of cement. The room appears to be completely empty as Hassan checks his injured toe. Then, out of nowhere, the intense screaming is back, and now it seems to be right where he's standing. Yeah, Hassan like, is frightened but keeps filming、right、for his live stream audience. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Oh,、well, they haven't yet. <laughs> As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he points the camera towards himself to show his injured、oh, neck, this a horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. That's when Hassan has finally had、I'm、enough. I'm not buying this. He decides to just get out of there. So, did Hassan Barbar capture a malicious jinn or spirit live on camera, or is it all effects and careful editing? As always, you decide. Okay, so this is what I want to say about this. I'm, I'm not here to to judge and tell you that that's not real. This is real. That's. I'm just giving you my opinion. I feel like a lot of people get heated and say, "How could you say that? That's fake." I mean, that's what this segment of this channel is. I'm reacting to this. I'm just giving you my opinion on this. But what my opinion on this is, I think I've seen a video of his before where the same kind of thing happened, where it kind of popped up here and he was screaming. Terrifying, honestly. But I have a feeling that this is something he does for entertainment. It's too, it's very easy to throw a black sheet on, crouch down behind him, and just kind of pop up and scare the crap out of your friend. Like, I get the vibe that he does this with somebody else. This is all speculation, please. I'm not saying that this is, doesn't have any chance of being real. If it is, that's terrifying. But I'm getting 
feelings, and that's something I get, that he does this with a friend and he goes to these locations, the friend goes ahead of time, and he doesn't know what this friend is going to do. FYI, that munching is my cat, I'm sorry, he's just all up in my space today. He's a very loud eater. But that his friend scares him because he doesn't know what he's going to, to be doing and they work it out that way and play it off as real. I don't know, that's the vibe I get. Comment and let me know if you get the same vibes as, as that. Like, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times, I'm not discrediting this man at all. I honestly know that if this was happening to me and no one believed me, it's crazy making. But I'm just telling you my, my opinion. So let me know in the comments down below what vibes you're getting from that if you agree that my theory might be right. Let's continue on. Jackie. Can we put a pause on there? Follower. This next video was sent in by a Nukes Top 5 viewer. He says that his uncle used to work in a rental store. One day, as he was walking in the door, he felt as if someone or something firmly touched him on the back. He looked around, but no one there. But when he checked the store security footage, he was shocked to the core. Same in here. I can't believe that happened due to something can touch me. And it's on camera. Behind me, dude. Look at the mask. Now watch. Touches me. Gone. Gone, dude. Mm. Look. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm not looking for thing. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm like. Now normally I would say that what you see on the footage is simply caused by a common camera compression glitch. Mm -hmm. But the guy's reaction is just not so easy to explain. Yes. The man looks around in confusion and it seems that he truly believes that someone just touched him. Even though there's no one there. So could this strange mist that seems to follow him be something paranormal? Let me know down in the comments. I feel like that's how they'd normally present themselves. Off the air. In a way that you could easily Wallace write it off as that, right? But he felt that time, channel, which is amazing. He felt that time, which is amazing. Which in English translates to paranormal activities. Antonis says that he was sent multiple reports from townspeople about the strange things happening in a quiet and mostly abandoned mountain village in Greece. The locals claim that one day, some time ago, something strange and unexplained appeared in the sky above the town. Ooh, some call it a, quote, thing, a thing, and some describe it as an ominous glow. Since the creepy incident, the locals claim that they experience non-stop unexplained phenomena inside their homes. Wow. They say that they feel like oh, they are being Jackson. watched and can't sleep because whenever they try to get some rest, they get the grotesquely odd sensation of worms crawling on their feet. So the activity has gotten so intense that almost all of the villagers decided to leave the town for good. The very few inhabitants left are still looking for answers. Antonis Vlahos is skeptical about the strange reports, but agrees to travel to the small mountain town to investigate. When he and his cameraman arrive, they discover that many of the town's homes are indeed abandoned. They decide to spend the night inside one of these abandoned homes yes. to try and capture some of the reported strange phenomena on camera. As they spend explore the, the abandoned house, they begin to get the feeling that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. Oh my gosh, all the houses. All the stuff is there. Like everything. What oh, smells bad? It's a completely set up. Family photos. Furniture and electronics are left behind in the house, but oh, strangest of all, too. even family photos are left scattered everywhere. It yeah. appears that the former occupants left in such a rush that they didn't even have time to pack away their precious family keepsakes. Moreover, didn't come back to get them. 
Maybe it wasn't worth going back into the house. That's crazy. Later that night, Antonis and his cameraman decide to lay down for a rest, but they leave their cameras recording just in case. Yes. That's when they capture something. I can't something wait to see this. Downright chilling. I'm invested now. So he's saying it's a radio. I hear music or an instrument of some sort. Inside the wall! It's like a violin. This is so weird. I'm like nail biting really into this. Wow. Antonis jolts up and calls out to his cameraman. They both hear a very creepy sound coming from somewhere inside a nearby cabinet. They discover it's a radio, but the radio isn't plugged into any power source, and the antique receiver doesn't even have a compartment for batteries. Suddenly, the radio just stops playing, and Antonis and his cameraman are baffled by what they've just witnessed. Eventually, they decide to lay down for a rest once again. It did not go well. Oh, look at the other camera. What? Something is overwhelming him enough that he wants to be outside of the home. So they're outside now. Toxus. They hear something. Quigos. They have some sound effects layered over top, so I don't know if I'm hearing correctly what they're talking about. Oh, sounds inside the house. Wow. Hey, Dude, that's why they didn't want to go back in the house. These guys don't even want to go back in. Crazy. Wow. No less than three different cameras are recording when suddenly the whole house starts to shake. It's like this the crazy family energy. photos fly into the air and a chair is thrown across one of the house's rooms. The terrified team runs outside to safety, leaving all of their equipment inside. Antonis explains that the YouTube channel Herfusikes Drastiriotites. That's so cool. Wow, that was wild. But definitely the last one, my absolute favorite. That was the coolest thing ever. So strange. I mean, that's obviously why they don't want to go back into the house. Not worth it. They, I'm sure, experienced a lot more and a lot crazier as they were like living there and over multiple nights. Weird stuff like this probably happened. That was all just in one night. I really, really like that one. So thanks again for suggesting this video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked watching it. I'm glad that I could get this out to you. I know how much you guys love the reaction videos. And like I've said a million times, we love doing them. If this is your first time on this channel, I'm saying we as I do have a partner. She's not with me right now. That's Alice. She's in some of our other videos. Please, if you liked this video, give us a like so that we know that you like this kind of stuff. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so and hit your notification bell so you get notified every single time that we upload new content. If this video interested you, if ghost videos interest you, if paranormal investigations interest you, please subscribe, check out our other videos. We have a lot of stuff like this and tons more of this stuff coming. Thank you so much again for making it to the end of this video and watching this with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep on creeping on. Bye guys.